Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial for Hammer. In this video we're going to look at how you can use Hammer to create terrain follow missions. Now this is a type of mission in which the drone maintains a constant altitude from the ground and it can be really useful to use this mission in hilly terrain where you have constant changes in altitude whereby the drone has to follow the terrain to, to get you the best data possible. So let's jump right in. So the first thing you would want to do as you open Hammer, the mobile application, is you would want to change the map. And you can do that by going into the map button over here. So you tap that and you can search for the location where you want to plan your mission. Uh, in my case over here, I've actually, I, I know the location coordinates, so the latitude and longitude of the area I want to plan the mission in. So I'm just going to add that in. So I'm just going to paste the coordinates. I'm going to press done. And you will notice that the map has now changed to a different location. Uh, uh, and as you, as you might be able to tell from the Google satellite view, this is a hilly location um, where I'll be able to demonstrate the terrain follow features. So once you've done that, uh, the second thing to do is to actually create a new mission file. So you basically tap on the new file button over there um, and you create uh, a new mission. So let's say we call this terrain follow demo. All right, so once you've done that, you can close the menu and now you can start planning your mission. So to do that, you basically go into the add mission menu. So you tap the plus icon there and Hammer is going to bring up all the different types of missions that are available. For this particular demo, we're going to look at the mapping mission, which you might want to configure as a terrain follow flight. You can also do terrain follow with magnetic inspection, magnetic mapping and 3D modeling. Uh, and in fact, with solar inspections as well. But for the for purposes of this video, we're going to stick to mapping missions. So once you tap on the mapping mission, Hammer is going to ask you to draw a polygon over the area. You can do this by simply tapping the map uh, and creating a polygon that you wish to map and then tapping on the OK button. Um, it's useful to indicate that actually you don't have to draw the draw the boundary of the area manually. You can also import it using a KML file. So what you can also do is you can go into the settings menu, scroll all the way down and import a KML file for the boundary of the mission you wish to configure. We're not going to do that today, but just as a simple note, you can you can also import KML files to create this boundary. Right. So once you've got your default plan generated, you need to then configure the plan. If you haven't been able to draw perfectly, you can always change the boundary of the area so that you can make this area more square or more um, uh, as as per your your uh, desired target. Um, you can then configure the mission by clicking on the settings gear. So once I tap on that, it would open up a settings menu and it would tell me uh, what the mission type is. It would also ask me to configure the camera I'm flying with. So let's assume uh, I'm flying this with a, a Mavic uh, or let's say a Phantom 4 Pro camera. I can essentially just pick that from the list. Uh, and you'll notice that as I change the camera, the GSD ground sampling distance changes. So this is essentially the amount of ground that is covered per pixel in the image of the camera. Uh, once you've done that, you can now configure all the different properties of a mapping mission. We're not going to go into the details of how to configure the mapping mission. If you want to learn more about configuring missions, mapping missions, 3D modeling missions, we recommend checking out the video in the top right corner. Um, but once you've set up your mission, you will notice that at the very bottom, you've got the option for terrain awareness. Um, you can tap that option and what, what Hammer is going to ask you is what data source would you like to use for terrain for the terrain follow. Now by default, uh, Hammer provides you with, an ac with access to NASA SRTM, which stands for uh, shuttle radiographic topology mission data. Now this is the data set that was that was captured by NASA uh, through their orbiters and is made available publicly and this is the data set that Hammer makes available through the application. But you can also import your own data set, uh, for instance a digital surface model, um, in which case Hammer will ask you to import a file, a DSM file, which has this data inside. We're not going to cover that in this video, but in the next video of the terrain follow series, we're going to look at how you can use your own data set. So assuming we, we go with the default data set, which is the NASA SRTM data, 
this data set has a resolution of 30 meters so uh, all the data that's being that's that's going to be used for planning this flight would actually be uh, will be 30 meter in resolution what that means is that the data was collected uh, every 30 meters uh, on on the ground um, so essentially you can think of it as the ground was chopped up into 30 meter tiles and the elevation of each one of those tiles was recorded in this data set so once you've done that uh, just press on the done button and hammer is going to ask you to pick a takeoff location let's say we're going to take off from somewhere around there in our mission so i can just tap on that and what hammer will then do is that it will generate uh, a flight plan and what you'll now notice is that the altitudes on this flight actually go from minus 36 meters to 62 meters um, if you don't prefer having altitude in meters and want to actually change that into feet you can do that by going into the settings menu um, and you can essentially change the altitude to imperial units so if you if you tap that switch you'll now notice that uh, all the altitudes are actually now indicated in feet uh, we're going to keep meters for this demo but uh, essentially you can toggle between different metric units um, as as you like so the once you've you've actually added the takeoff location um, you will notice that there are small dots all over the flight plan and the small dots indicate essentially um, a elevation change in the flight uh, or more precisely they re represent the waypoints that the drone will be flying through which have different 3d altitudes now to really visualize this flight uh, it's better to do two things one is you, you can simulate this flight in 2d so to do that you can press the play button and uh, once you press play, um, uh, Hammer will regenerate the terrain follow plan. But to really visualize it in, in 3D, uh, what you can do is you can open the in the mission you can open the mission settings uh, and you can tap on the 3D view. Once you tap on the 3D view, Hammer will export a KML file from the generated flight plan. And if you have Google Earth installed on your iPad or your mobile device, uh, which is essential, you'll be able to visualize this. So we recommend downloading Google Earth before trying this. But once you have Google Earth on your iPad, uh, you can essentially tap the Google Earth icon and Hammer will then open Google Earth and essentially overlay the flight plan that has been generated. Now this being in 3D, you can clearly see the flight is actually following the terrain, uh, allowing you to maintain a constant distance from the topology from the elevation of the ground following the elevation of the ground and ensuring that you have the best data possible uh, in the most safe manner possible as well so that's it for this series that's how you can generate a terrain follow flight in hammer uh, in the next video we're going to look at how you can use your own data sets your own custom digital surface models to make these models even to make these flight plans even more precise um, and collect the best data possible thanks for watching if you have any comments or questions please do leave them in the comment section below we'll be happy to answer them and support you in your flight operations mm -hmm.